In this video, we are going to be covering how to take notes for the world of bug bounty hunting, or maybe you are wanting to become a penetration tester. Note taking is going to be really important to you and your method of note taking and actually being able to go back and overview what you have already done and gone through your checklist is going to be really important. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I take notes and we're going to use cherry tree within Linux because everybody's going to have access to this. I personally use OneNote, but it's going to be really similar to what I'm going to show you in this video. Some of the benefits of taking really good notes is going to be having organized thoughts and being able to write a really simple proof of concept. You'll be able to have screenshots and be able to see what you have previously done. And you're not going to waste a lot of time going back to subdomains that you've already enumerated and looked at because you already have all of your notes there for you and know that you've already looked at it. And if a new vulnerability comes out, you can go and see when the last time you enumerated looked at this specific subdomain and know if the new CVE is going to be applicable to this specific domain and the software that's running on it. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. So here we are on our Kali Linux machine. We can come up to the little drop down menu and we can type in cherry tree and it will be automatically installed if you're running Kali Linux. So using cherry tree is going to be really pretty simple. The first thing you're going to want to do in your notes is you're going to have the main domain and all of the information that you found on it. So you can type in the domain.com and this is going to give you this parent node right here. And you can also change up your note taking method and maybe you want to have the main domain and you have each subdomain right here like this you could have subdomain one only it would actually be the subdomain name right here and then you'll have all of your notes from that subdomain but if you do this there are some programs that have like 800 subdomains and this would take forever to do but you can come in here and do every single subdomain like this and so it'd be if we could just say sub.domain.com spelled that wrong like this and then you would have all of your notes within this specific subdomain. So if you decided to go this way, one of the things I would suggest doing right out of the beginning is when you put in your first sub node is maybe just call this the software right here. And you can run, you can say that it's running some kind of CMS, maybe it's running WordPress, and then you'd have the version of 4.2.0 and then you can know that this is what's running. So that way in the future, if there's any kind of CVE that comes out for the WordPress version that's running, you can come back to this subdomain and see if it's vulnerable to that new CVE. Another reason you're gonna to want to have some kind of list of the subdomains. So let's go ahead and delete this one right here so it looks a little better. If you decided to run a bunch of subdomains in here, so we can type in sub1.domain.com, and in here you have a list of all of your subdomains. You can have actually subdomains in here within this specific thing that you're looking at. So in here we could say software and you can see how this is going to organize our research for us. And inside of the software in here you would put your WordPress and then the version that it is running. So these are a couple different ways to kind of organize your notes. And another way to save time instead of actually going through and typing all of this out is on this box, I already have Wappalyzer installed. So I could just come, we can come to the browser and type in like google.com and open up Wappalyzer to see what information is there. And now we could open this up right here and I could just screenshot this and pull that screenshot over to my Kali machine and then I can put it into cherry tree. So I could grab this and pull it over and put it into cherry tree. I actually don't have this specific Kali box set up to do that. So it's not gonna work for this one, but on my actual personal Kali Linux machine that I use, I can just pull screenshots back and forth over to my Kali machine and save them inside of cherry tree. But I use OneNote, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. So screenshotting and adding information in here is going to be helpful as well if you have that capability. And one of the things I like to do is at the end of a recon session is make a node like this and we'll just call it a recon node. And then in here I write down all the tools I ran and the way that I collected all of the information. So that way I have a clear set of notes and that way if I ever come back to this specific target, I can see if maybe I've missed something or maybe I've learned some kind of new recon technique that I can try out on this specific target. And I'll know what exactly I have done on this target and what I can do in 
the future to further analyze the information on my specific target. So make sure to write down your methodology of your recon and attack because it may change in the future and you might be able to go back to old notes and old targets and further do enumeration and testing. And lastly, one of the things that is going to be really helpful for you in your note taking process is to have some kind of a checklist. And so one of the last things you're going to want to have is a good checklist of vulnerabilities and recon. And you can just go out to Google and look for a bunch of different checklists and find whichever one works best for you. Maybe copy paste it and put it into a word document and modify it and make your own but in the meantime you can just google bug bounty checklist and click on one of the checklists and then look to see what is in here and you can follow their recon maybe there's something in here you don't like i used to use http probe but i decided i actually like going out and checking things manually so i don't use this anymore but it would be helpful for you to have something like this some kind of checklist so that way you don't miss any bugs or vulnerabilities or maybe hidden subdomains that you would have otherwise missed without a checklist. So this will be really helpful for you as you're working on your recon skills in the future and developing them. So there's a lot of ways to take notes. I showed you Cherry Tree only because it's in Kali Linux and everybody who is going to be running a virtual machine is gonna have access to Kali Linux and they're gonna have access to Cherry Tree. But I personally use OneNote and maybe there's something else out there that you like to use. And you can let us know down in the comments what specific software you like to use to take notes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.